In this video, I'll be going through all of the different tools I use to run my online business. And by using these tools, I've been able to systematize my process and build a team and a business. And without these tools, I'm afraid I would be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. These tools make my life a whole lot easier. And I'm going to be dividing them into a few different categories. We have web development, project management, sales management, finances, legal and contracts, and then we have just essential workspace tools. So starting out with web development, um, as you know, I am a web developer. That's my online business. I run a web design agency. And so, you know, I, I do a lot of web design and here are the best platforms for building websites. You have Webflow and then you have Shopify. So with Webflow, you can build completely custom websites you can use templates or pre-built components, but you can also build sections completely from scratch. And when you're trying to build a website nowadays, you're going to want to use a platform like Webflow. All of the creative freedoms and all of the design capabilities that you need. Now, the weakness with Webflow is that it doesn't have any e-commerce functionality. Well, it has a tiny bit, but not enough. So what you're going to want to do if you're selling products is go ahead and use Shopify. Now you can use strictly Shopify or you can kind of integrate Webflow and Shopify to create a custom website that also has the e-commerce functionality of Shopify. Now when it comes to hosting, which is basically keeping your website propagated on the internet, um, you're going to want to use a different host. Like you could either use GoDaddy, Bluehost, um, Google Domains, and these are going to be good platforms for you to basically hold your domains and also hosting. Now, when it comes to domains and hosting, I like to buy my domains on Google domains just because I'm a Google fanatic. You know, I have Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google, Google. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think that it's just the most superior platform right now for emailing, workspace, just productivity in general. Okay, moving into the next tool, and that is the like button. Go ahead and click the like button. Get full use out of it and it's going to help you out quite a bit. Okay, all jokes aside, we'll move into the next tool. Okay, so moving into kind of project management, there's a lot of different tools out there that accomplish the same exact goal. I've been experimenting with a bunch of different ones. Asana is a great tool. It's versatile and it's going to be able to do the job. There's also monday.com, Notion. You can do your research. I personally am using Asana and I like it a lot. Having a really good project management system is essential for your business. First of all, if you ever want to expand and you want to have a team that's also helping you fulfill projects, you can't do all the work yourself. You're only going to be able to do so many projects per month. And so if you want to actually build a team out and then have that team do work effectively, then you need a project management system. List out all of the tasks of whatever, you know, your service or your product is, and then kind of turn it into a system that can be done by anybody just by reading your project management system and looking at all of the tasks and subtasks. Next up, we have Slack. Now, this is a communication tool. It probably could have been in its own category, but I'm going to throw it in the project management category. Now, when you have a team and you're managing projects, then you obviously need to have really good communication. And so Slack is a great tool for either having private conversations or group and team conversations where you can, you know, give people different accesses and you know, you can have files there and all the information that you need to give your team and try to stay away from using email as much as possible because emails get flooded and also your team doesn't have access to the information on your email. So when one person gets an email, your team can't see it, they can't interact. And if you're trying to fulfill all the project yourself, email is fine. But over time, that's going to be a system that breaks down because other people need access to all the information that clients are sending you. Next up, we have sales management. So you could use Asana or Notion for this, but there's also a couple other tools that are built specifically for, you know, CRM, client relations management. Um, it's kind of like, think about it as like the pipeline, the sales pipeline. You have leads, opportunities, and then are they closed? And then you can fill out all their information. You can use a tool like Asana or Notion or Monday.com to do this, but there are tools that are also built specifically around CRMs and sales management. One example of this is Salesforce. It's a tool I've been experimenting with. And if you want to kind of take your sales management to the next level, rather than just having it all listed on Asana, then I would recommend checking this tool out. Okay, next up, we have a tool that's really helpful for kind of your finances and legal aspects of the business. And this one tool takes care of just about everything I just said. So that tool is Hello Bonsai. Whether it's a single invoice or a subscription invoice, 
So say that you sign a client for an, a website management package for $150 a month. You could send them a contract, they sign it, and then you send them an invoice that automatically bills once every month for an, as long as it goes until you cancel it. This tool makes my life a whole lot easier because I can go in, I can quickly see how much we're making, I could see has the client signed a contract yet, a whole list of all my contracts that I've sent, all of the invoices I've ever sent, and when those invoices are going to be due. So overall, Hello Bonsai is a really great tool and it's made my life a lot less stressful. And lastly, this is one that I was kind of debating throwing in. I feel like it's pretty obvious, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyways. So the Google Workspace is a really, really valuable tool for your business. And the Google Workspace is composed of a ton of different tools. I mean, as you know, Google owns YouTube. And then obviously they also have Drive, which is cloud storage for your entire business. You could use shared drives to utilize basically giving people access to different folders and then you can immediately cut off access if you wanted to. So that's a great cloud storage system. Then you have um, Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Meets. And that's why I would never use any other system for emails, for you know general productivity because Google is the company that does it best. And not to mention, Google is free for the most part unless you're paying for an advanced package, which in my case, I actually do pay for, you know, a more advanced package that gives us a couple terabytes of cloud storage, as well as um, a lot of different like security features and other things like that. Okay, so I feel like I've went through a lot of the tools that I use a lot on a daily basis. Sure, there are other tools that I definitely utilize, but I think between these tools, we have building a website, managing projects, um, managing sales, managing contracts, finances, and then just general productivity tools. Between all these tools, I'm sure that you have what you need to build a successful online business. So I hope you found some value in this video. And if you did, leave me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel for a lot more information about online businesses, web design. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.